Modern technology is allowing hedge unit makers to give you a lot more features for your money than they could in the past. Unfortunately, though, that same technology limits the voltage of the preamplifier outputs. As a result, many of the decks from five, ten years ago had strong outputs of four, eight, maybe even twelve volts. But today's decks have an average of about two volts true RMS output. This means that to get good volume, you must now turn up amplifier gains and suffer from increased background noise and reduced dynamic range. This problem is at its worst in multi-channel AV systems where the RMS signal level at the amplifier is often less than one volt. With the audio control matrix, you can boost the hedge unit output to give your amplifier up to 9.5 volts of true RMS output. To install the matrix, simply hook the audio channels of the hedge unit up to the matrix, then hook the matrix outputs to the amplifiers. Hook up power, ground, and trigger as well, and you're ready to rock. Then you need to set the gains as you did in our level matching video. As we saw in the level matching video, we need to turn the amplifier gains and the matrix gains all the way down. Then we need to unplug the inputs at the amplifiers. Then we need to turn the hedge unit back on and turn that up to about three quarters volume playing loud dynamic music. Adjust the channels on the matrix up until the maximized light just comes on. Now turn off the system and plug the RCAs back into the amplifier. Now turn the system back on and slowly turn up the volume. At this point, if one of your amplifiers is louder than the other, like maybe the rear channel, you can use the matrix gain controls on that particular channel to adjust and balance out the system. Now you've turned your low voltage signal into a full power, high voltage signal for your system with less amplifier noise and more dynamic range. In other words, your system now sounds more like live music, and that's what auto sound is all about.